I am so excited to film this video because I have been wanting to verse Charlotte Tilbury with L'Oreal for the longest time. So as always, one side of my face is gonna be L'Oreal. Okay, pigment. And the other side is gonna be a Charlotte Tilbury. Oh my God. And we're gonna first and see which brand is actually worth your coin. I'm obsessed with this blush. Honestly guys, this might as well have been a dupes video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria Gloria and I'm here to help you become the woman of your dreams. I like to verse brands that in my mind are like in the same realm. And for some reason when I think L'Oreal and what like the high-end version of her is, it's Charlotte Tilbury. Maybe Charlotte Tilbury is owned by L'Oreal. <gasps> Am I the drama? All right, here's the thing. I don't have a primer from Charlotte Tilbury. I did, I do. I left it at home. So I'm just gonna use the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Glow Lock Illuminating Primer, which is supposed to be, in my mind, a dupe for the Magic Cream from Charlotte Tilbury, which is really good, guys. Like, it's really good. Oh, this feels really good. Like, this feels really good. It just feels like a really nice, like, moisturizer. You guys know I like to spritz my face with setting spray just to prime my face. It's a little thing I like to do here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray on this side of my face. And then on this side, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Shake and Glow Dewy Mist. I love the Charlotte Tilbury spray. I don't know what it is about it. I think the mist is what got me. Like this is good too, and both are leaving me like quite glowy and they both felt good on the skin. But the Charlotte Tilbury one, guys, it's like little angel kisses. Foundation! So I have the Hollywood Flawless Filter, which I haven't used before. And I keep hearing that this is a very glowy, very natural, very comfortable foundation, which reminds me a lot of Miss Pure Nude by L'Oreal. This stuff, heavenly. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, um, you should. I actually did a whole like reel dedicated to this little baddie. When I tell you I don't feel anything on my skin, I don't feel anything on my skin. And like, that's the trippy part about this foundation, guys. It's so like lightweight and just mwah, besitos. All right, so if memory serves me correctly, which it does, it has one of these little numbers, which I don't really love doe foots on foundation, guys. It's just not my thing. Oh, she's a lie and you do kind of have to like apply quite a bit to get it to work. Ooh, she is blending very nicely. Holy crap, this is glowy. I thought this foundation was glowy. I will say the L'Oreal foundation has a lot more coverage than this Charlotte Tilbury. Eyebrows, I have the brow lived by Charlotte Tilbury. I have it in the shade black brown. And that's what I'm gonna use on this side, obviously. And on the L'Oreal side, I have the brow stylist in the shade brunette. All right, you guys, I'm having such a good brow day. When I tell you these can honestly be dupes for each other, these could be dupes for each other. Like I'm not even joking. The formulas are so similar. I will say the shape of the L'Oreal one, it does take a little bit more of a learning curve because it is a little bit thicker than the actual Charlotte Tilbury brow lift, but this is a really good brow pencil. Let's go ahead and clean up the brows. The L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Corrector, I got mine in the shade. 365 and I have the magic away liquid concealer in the shade 3 fair pale I already love the tone of the L'Oreal one like a lot this is coverage oh my god and this is gonna be a very brightening concealer I can already tell you that much yeah look I basically just put a mask over my eyelid oh my god that coverage oh ridiculous let's move on to the magic away this concealer, definitely not as full coverage as the L'Oreal one. Like definitely not as full coverage. But I really like the formula. Yep, that's not bad. Oh, I really like this. The concealer itself is really glowy and really natural. As with Miss Mask over here, it's literally still a mask, but also a lot more matte than the Charlotte Tilbury one was. This is so bad. You guys, not only did my palette come in broken, completely shattered, one of the shadows is literally gone, like by, like it didn't even say hi, didn't even come inside to greet my mom's. However, the Charlotte Tilbury one, I honestly am so like shocked because of how pretty it is. 
I didn't expect it to be this pretty. I also didn't expect it to be this small, to be completely honest with you guys. I thought I was gonna get like a much larger palette, but this is cute. So we're gonna start off with this Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna start out with this middle shade, which is our transition color here. <gasps> Oh my God, when I tell you that pigment smacked me in the face, I will say this color's a lot darker on my eyelid than in the actual pan it seems, which I don't mind that. I actually do like the, the pigment and I like the tone even more now. Now I'm going to go in with this one right over here, which is just the darker brown. And I'm just gonna place that into my crease. Yo, these colors are intense. I was not expecting this. Like this is so beautiful. Let's try a shimmer. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this gold way over here. Are you for real? Like say you're playing, say psych. Stay psych right now. You guys, I need you to understand that I haven't wet this brush and I haven't wet this pigment. This is literally just how it's going in natural and like dry. Let's go in with the darkest matte now. Yo, when I tell you I'm actually obsessed with this brown, I'm gonna go in with a shade number eight, which is this middle shade right here. Does this smell like anything? Oh, it does. Oh, it does smell like peaches. We've got some pigment, ladies and gentlemen. However, we do have a lot of dustiness and we don't have a mirror, which is a bummer, but we're, we're still gonna make it work. I'm gonna go into nine now, which is this brown right over here, just to kind of darken things up. Also, another thing, there's a, there's a lot of kickback with the L'Oreal shadows, which I don't mind because there's pigment. If there wasn't any pigment and any color payout at all, and it was that dusty, I'd be like, yo, you're too much work for not a lot of reward. I'm gonna grab the darkest shade now, which I believe is 11. This brown is also pretty stunning. You guys, I'm so shocked with the amount of dupes we're having. Honestly, guys, this might as well have been a dupes video. All right, I'm gonna go with 10 now, which is the only shimmer shade, I believe, in this palette. Okay, so the shimmer's not great. Yeah, like when I tell you I'm not impressed at all, I mean it. But you know what, guys? I do like this eyeshadow look, period like the actual mattes in this shadow, which are so hard to find. But in the drugstore, L'Oreal, what? All right, let's go ahead and move on to our liquid eyeliners. For the Charlotte Tilbury scent, I'm gonna use the Feline Flick Quick Fine Line Pen. And for the L'Oreal side, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Voluminous Liner in Noir. I've never tried, personally, the L'Oreal one, and I'm really excited to test it. I have tried the Feline Flick, and the Feline Flick is pretty bomb, too. When it comes to the eyeliners, yo, L'Oreal killed it. This is such a good eyeliner, and it's at the drugstore. This definitely beat out the Feline Flick. Like, the Feline Flick, I'm not gonna lie, is kind of hard and, like, tricky to work with. Both are matte as all get out, but the L'Oreal one has, like, a velvet finish to it that, like, I'm obsessed with. Let's go ahead and conceal, guys, because these under eyes, they got to go. I am gonna mix both of these, by the way, as well. I'm gonna mix vanilla and cashew just to get, like, my perfect bright under eye moment going. Okay, so I just very quickly went ahead and just blended out my concealers and I set my L'Oreal side. I went ahead and used the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte 16 hour powder everywhere that I use the concealer just because this has a really nice like banana undertone to it and I love how it brights up my under eyes. And for the entire face, I set it with the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Powder Foundation and I just used the shade 125 Ivory Buff just to set my entire face. This is a really full coverage foundation so I just use this powder sparingly and lightly but to set the entire side of my Charlotte Tilbury because I did use my Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This I used on my under eyes where I use my actual concealer, where I use the Magic Touch Concealer. Now to set the entire face and to make sure nothing actually moves, I'm gonna use a brand new powder that I've never used before. This is Charlotte's Genius Magic Under Eye and Face Powder. It's true to Charlotte Tilbury packaging. It's stunning. And you do get a lot of product in here, which is awesome. The one reason that I will say that I think Charlotte Tilbury powders are such great investments is because they really do leave you poreless, guys. This looks like the softest powder 
her literally ever. Yo, when I tell you Charlotte just knows what she's doing when it comes to powders, I look so airbrushed, you guys. I don't have a bronzer for the L'Oreal side, so I'm just gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer on both sides. I really like this bronzer, you guys. I got mine in the shade two, and this is a stunning stunning bronzer. This is one of those products that definitely like juice up the skin. Let's move on to L'Oreal and let's move on to a blush. I'm going to use the H Perfect Radiant Satin Blush in the shade Marigold. I think in the packaging or in the actual website, this looked a lot lighter than what I got. So we're going to be careful. Ooh, that is pigmented. Whoa, hot dog. I don't think I've ever been more in love with a blush upon first application like this. Like this is, oh my gosh. I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out with a clean brush. Let's go ahead and move on to the blush. This is the Ecstasy Swish and Pop Blusher from Charlotte Silbury, of course. You guys, this is, I will say, one product from Charlotte Silbury that you don't necessarily need. I'm not obsessed with her blushes. Like, I, I think they're pretty, but they're just, they're not great. Save your money and invest in the powders and in the lipsticks. We will get there. All right, guys, I just went ahead and finished off the eyes with the Charlotte Tilbury. Like, this is a dual-ended eye pencil. I just used the rose gold side on both sides. This is gorgeous. And when I tell you it, like, glid right on, like, it just glid right on. And, like, look at how pretty this color is. Like, look how stunning. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to lashes. For lashes, I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Noir Balm Mascara. I've never tried this before. I've obviously used the L'Oreal Voluminous. You guys, that mascara is a classic. It's so good. When I went to the Makeup by Mario Masterclass in New York a few years back, he talked about how he uses L'Oreal Voluminous on literally like all of his clients because he just swears by it. However, this one I've never tried before. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so this mascara is literally gorgeous. This is a winner in my eyes. For the Charlotte Tilbury side, I'm gonna use the Full Fat of Lashes by Charlotte Tilbury. I've already tried this mascara, guys, and while it's not a bad mascara, it's not my favorite, but I'll let you guys see what it does. You see? <laughs> like, it's just not my favorite. I just don't think it's the biggest, baddest mascara in the game. And it is a pretty mascara. It's just not my favorite. For my lips, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal New Confident 171 Lipstick. But to line my lips, I'm gonna use the Color Riche Lip Liner in Matte Stermine. Okay, so that's a flop. My lip liner broke. It's a good thing we got Miss Charlotte Tilbury. If I'm not mistaken, you guys, this is the number one lip liner in all of Northern America. This is Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury, and this is literally the greatest lip liner ever. Actual perfection, this lip liner is. Like, do you see that? It like it has the trippiest effect on the lips because it literally makes you look like you have lip filler but you don't, like in the most natural way. It's the most perfect nude lip liner. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and use Pillow Talk lipstick on the Charlotte Tilbury side. And on the L'Oreal side, I'm gonna use, oh, are you serious? Did we have an yet another L'Oreal fail? You guys, the bullet literally popped out. What is happening, L'Oreal? It's a shame too about like the dispensers on both the lip liner and the lipstick. I haven't forgotten about the lip liner because the color is really pretty. Like I really like this color. These colors can honestly be dupes for each other. Like now that I'm kind of like looking at them, only thing we have left is a couple of things from L'Oreal that I really want to try out. I have this L'Oreal out blissful blush lip gloss you guys know me i love matte lips but i i gotta have a gloss guys i really do so i'm gonna go ahead and try this out it literally looks like i have lip fillers and i don't i promise you it's just the products i used and last but definitely not least i have my brow gel this is the 30 hour long wear top coat unbelief a brow by l'oreal paris i got mine in the shade transparent i love brow gel guys and i feel like brow gel is one of those things that i have to try every single brow gel there is out there and i'm just gonna use it on both sides all right so i do like this baddie but that is that look at this face it's crazy how similar it looks like from afar 
You guys probably couldn't tell that I use completely different eyeshadows, foundations, blush even. The blush is actually quite different, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm super impressed. I had a feeling that this is exactly how this look was gonna turn out because I told you guys in the beginning, I feel like L'Oreal and Charlotte Tilbury are two very different apples from the same orchard. Like if that makes any sense to you guys at all. I have to say guys, I'm so impressed with L'Oreal. I think that L'Oreal won. For me personally, while I love the Charlotte Tilbury side and the Charlotte Tilbury side has my heart, I think L'Oreal won simply because of the blush. I love the brows. I am obsessed with the mascara. I love the eyeliner. I think the things that Charlotte Tilbury definitely kicked butt in were the bottom liner, the actual eyeshadow, like the shimmer. I love the powders my heart and soul in the powders. But I think when it comes to the foundation, the complexion products themselves, I think we have dupes, guys. I really do. I think these are duping each other. I don't know if you guys saw it, but I definitely saw it. I feel like this video wasn't so much a battle, but dupes. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I'm actually dying to hear what your guys' thoughts are. What side do you prefer most? Or do you think like these are actual dupes? Or can your heart simply just not decide I need to know because in my opinion guys l'oreal kind of took the cake i love you guys i appreciate you guys for hanging out with me i hope this video was as entertaining for you as it was for me and please remember baby girl whether it is a luxury makeup from a designer or you know the drugstore bottom b it is crazy what you deserve and i love you guys so much Because I've never been with a bad <laughs>